What's up, Solo fam? My name is John Solo, and I've got some very exciting news. I'm happy to announce a brand new partnership with Crypt TV. Crypt TV is a channel dedicated to making high quality short horror films and series, and I'm not exaggerating when I say high quality. The special effects, music, everything they do is great. Their goal is to build a kind of horror cinematic universe, kind of like Marvel, where the stories all connect, and they're building it at a very fast pace. They upload three scary shorts a week on two Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, both original films and submissions from filmmakers. In addition to making standalone content, they expand on their best episodes and turn them into series. My favorite of these series, and the one we're talking about today, is the Fable series, and I think you guys are gonna love this too. What they've been doing is putting their own modern messed up twists on all these classic fairy tales. And it just so happens that we've talked about a lot of those fairy tales here on Messed Up Origins. I thought it'd be cool to revisit some of those origin stories and compare them to the shorts from Crypt TV. See how many connections we can make and also just how creative people can get with these stories. Today we're going to cover the Rapunzel episode and check out the other shorts over the next six weeks. If you like what you see and want to watch more Crypt TV, there's a link down below that'll take you right to their channel and another that starts you on their Fable playlist. Just a heads up, they're all pretty gruesome, including the Rapunzel one that we're about to watch. So brace yourself. I know most people are pretty familiar with the basic Rapunzel story, but let's do a quick recap for those who might not remember or who haven't seen my video on it. Basically what happens is we've got a guy whose wife is pregnant and she's got pregnancy craving. She's got a taste for a certain plant called a who's a what's it. Problem is the only person in town who's got that plant is their neighbor who's a witch and she ain't selling. So homeboy has to sneak into the witch's yard to steal the plant, but he's sloppy and he gets caught. And to stop her from killing him, or turning him into a mollusk, he promises to give her his unborn daughter. That daughter becomes Rapunzel, and the witch raises her alone in a tower in the middle of the forest and never cuts her hair, so her hair is super long. One day, while the witch isn't there, a prince who just so happened to be in the area stumbled upon Rapunzel's tower, snuck inside, and the two hit it off immediately because love at first sight. After a few weeks or months of keeping the relationship a secret, the two are found out when the witch sees Rapunzel's baby bump. The old lady freaks out and uses magic to strand Rapunzel out in the desert alone, and through a series of missteps, the prince finds himself blind, wandering around the forest, also alone. The two of them are stranded for months, but one day the prince overhears Rapunzel singing to her newborn twins, and he follows the sound right to her. Keep in mind, this was back in the day before you could just send someone your location on your phone. For some reason, her tears have magic healing powers, so when she cries out of joy, she fixes the prince's blindness, and they cruise on back to the kingdom and live happily ever after. If you like that story, I highly recommend you watch the episode where I cover it in detail, after checking out Crypt TV, of course. What you're about to see in this short is exactly why I like Crypt TV so much. They start with the basic concept of Rapunzel and take it in a whole different direction than anything you've seen before. But if you're familiar with the original stories, you can pick up on all the subtle details and what inspired certain elements. That's why it's good you're watching it with me and why this partnership makes so much sense. How about we cut the chit chat and get started though, eh? Don't forget to hit that like button so we can reach our goal of 5,000 likes and subscribe for new content like this every week. The episode opens with a straight shot of a book called A Brief History of Black Arts by V. Darkholm. Then we see this girl, obviously the Rapunzel-inspired character, reading a book called The Divine Comedy. For those who don't know, The Divine Comedy was written in 1308 by Dante Alighieri and describes his travels through an imagined afterlife where he goes through hell, purgatory, and paradise. Pretty intense stuff this girl's reading, right? Her friends think so too, but she claims it's for her thesis. Rapunzel's gal pals all want her to go out, but she's using her homework as an excuse to stay in and chill with her oh-so-dreamy piece of man candy, Luke. Cut to Rapunzel washing her hands in the bathroom. We don't know what she did in there, but out of respect for her privacy, I won't theorize. She hears the sound of glass shattering, and when she steps out to investigate, her hallway is filled with smoke. She runs to the bedroom, calling for Luke. Luke, who is apparently inside, but she can't get the door open in time. When she finally does, her room is engulfed in flame, and it looks like Luke is toast. In the next shot, we see news headlines placing the blame for the fire on Rapunzel, but wait. 
How is that possible? We know she didn't start the fire. Well, if you take a closer look at the headlines, you'll see that her sorority sisters all pointed the finger at her and she was forced to suffer the consequences. And look at that. She's bald now. Rapunzel Rapunzel has no hair. So remember how in the original story, Rapunzel's tears have healing powers and Entangled, she has similar abilities? Well, that book of black magic we saw her reading is Crypt TV's rendition of her magic powers and she uses them to bring her boyfriend back from the dead. And to think she was just asking how he got so cute. Now see this picture she's eyeballing? That's one of her friends who tried to convince her to go out. And I'm sure you can tell from that joyful expression on her face, that friend's night is about to get a lot rougher. In the next scene, we see the redhead laying safely in bed, but she's startled by her closet door slamming. She gets up to investigate, but nothing seems out of the ordinary, so she lays back down. And then things go way out of the ordinary really fast. A huge figure moves across the room and immediately starts attacking the redhead. She realizes pretty quickly that it's Luke despite his allegedly being dead and therefore knows exactly why he's there. Redhead admits that she knows Rapunzel didn't start the sorority fire she was convicted for but she swears that she didn't either. That's all the information Luke seemed to care about because he responds to her comments by ripping her scalp off. Rest in peace. The following scene shows Rapunzel with a head full of red hair and her burns all healed. But as the camera pans around, we see her true form. So you can guess where that red wig came from. Luke asks Rapunzel how she feels and she responds beautiful. They have a moment to themselves and Rapunzel wants to know, was it her who started the fire? Was it the redhead? When Luke says no, she turns angry once again and her new wig is no longer good enough because it doesn't belong to the true perpetrator. Her eyes filling with hatred, she stares down the photo of another one of her closest friends and the screen cuts to black. Now was that messed up or was that messed up? I hope you guys enjoyed that version of the story and understand now why I'm so excited about this partnership. Thanks to Crypt TV, we get to revisit some of the origin stories we already covered and look at them through a totally different lens. Not to mention, Crypt TV's content is legit and it's only getting better as they grow. So you might wanna hop on that bandwagon now before it leaves the bandwagon station? No way that's right. As always, make sure you hit that like button so we can reach our goal of 5,000 likes. It's been a while since we hit that really fast. You guys are getting slow on me. I've got all the important links to my social medias and Crypt TV's channel in the description down below. Go check them out, like, follow, subscribe, all that stuff. I'll be seeing you very soon, Solo fam. Until then, my name is John Solo, and remember, John shot first. Mm -hmm.